Hi, my name is Kweko. I'm a pharmacist. In today's video, I want to go over seven of the most commonly reported signs of a vitamin B12 deficiency. Now, vitamin B12 is one of the essential nutrients that your body needs. It needs to keep your blood cells healthy, your nervous system healthy, as well as making DNA, which is the genetic material for your body. Your body does not make vitamin B12. So any vitamin B12 that you get must come from an external source that is through the food and beverages that you consume. And foods high in vitamin B12 include usually meat products and dairy products. So people who are strictly vegan or vegetarian tend to be at a slightly elevated risk of developing a vitamin B12 deficiency. In the United States, it is estimated that about 20% or so people over 60 are vitamin B12 deficient. Now, the first sign here on my list is fatigue. That is a general feeling of tiredness, weakness, lethargic most of the time. This feeling of tiredness or fatigue typically happens because vitamin B12 and another vitamin B9 or folate are responsible for the formation of red blood cells. Now, your body needs a healthy amount of red blood cells, which contain hemoglobin, responsible for carrying oxygen from the lungs to the tissues back and forth to produce the energy that you need. If anything compromises this transport of oxygen around the body, what happens is that you end up feeling tired because your body, your cells, and your tissues don't get the amount of oxygen that they need. Now, this is where vitamin B12 comes in. Vitamin B12 is directly responsible for the formation of healthy red blood cells. If you are deficient in vitamin B12, your body forms some defective cells called megaloblasts. Now, as the name implies, these megaloblasts are very huge red blood cells. So you would think that these huge megaloblasts would be an advantage because they could carry more oxygen, but the opposite is actually true. These megaloblasts are defective in the sense that they are huge, but their inner contents are defective. The hemoglobin is not fully developed, so its function of carrying oxygen around is compromised. Furthermore, because these megaloblasts are so huge, sometimes even when they form in the bone marrow, they are not even able to get into the bloodstream. And the few that even get into the bloodstream, they are so defective that they start to break and therefore they have a relatively shorter lifespan. So the overall picture is that if you are deficient in vitamin B12, you have less healthy red blood cells to carry oxygen around the body that leads to megaloblastic anemia, which in turn leads to feeling tired and weak because you don't have adequate supply of oxygen to your tissues, which need the oxygen to produce the energy that you need. And number two sign on my list is yellowish or pale skin. And this ties directly into the previous point that I just explained. Because these defective red blood cells or megaloblasts are so easily broken down, they are not healthy. When they break down, they release a substance called bilirubin, which is brownish in nature. And this is what gives the skin that yellowish tone. Some people may experience even a yellowing of their eyes, a condition called jaundice. Number three sign is burning or the pins and needle sensation, as some people call it, but it's medically called paresthesia. Several studies have shown a correlation between people deficient in vitamin B12 and this burning and pins and needle sensation. Now, what happens is that vitamin B12 is responsible or helps to produce a, a certain layer that covers the nerves. It's called myelin. This myelin protects the nerves and also helps in the transmission of sensations and impulses. When you are deficient in vitamin B12, you have less of this myelin covering the nerve cells. So the nerve cells are more prone to damage. And when they become damaged, that is when you have this burning and pins and needle sensation. Unfortunately, this phenomenon is observed more in diabetic patients, especially those who take metformin, arguably one of the most common anti-diabetic medications. This is because diabetic patients, on the average, have higher circulating blood sugar. Now, this higher circulating blood sugar is also a, a factor that leads to or that contributes to the damage of their nerves. And coupled with the fact that metformin causes more absorption of vitamin B12. So you have a situation where the sugar itself is causing nerve damage and the person also doesn't have the vitamin B12 in adequate amounts that could have served as a protective layer for the person. So diabetics are generally more prone to this pins and needles and burning sensations. Now that is not to say that non-diabetics or people who are not diabetic cannot experience these sensations if they are B12 deficient. Now another noticeable effect of a vitamin B12 deficiency is memory loss or decline in cognitive function. This happens because vitamin B12 is essential for maintaining a healthy nervous system. It is responsible for breaking down a, a compound called homocysteine, which is an amino acid in the body. Now, homocysteine is broken down with the help of vitamin B12 and some other vitamins into two useful other compounds in the body called methionine and cysteine. Now, in the absence of enough vitamin B12 to cause this breakdown, the levels of homocysteine rise and build up in the body. There are so many studies that have correlated an increase in homocysteine levels to a decline in cognitive function. Or in other words, the higher your homocysteine levels, the greater the risk or the greater the chances that you're going to suffer from memory loss. Number five is headaches. 
And headaches are usually one of the first signs or symptoms that people notice when they have a vitamin B12 deficiency. There have been several studies that have also shown to a correlation between people who are deficient in vitamin B12 and, head and some types of headaches. So for example, there was a 2019 study where they observed 140 people. Half of these 140 people had a vitamin B12 deficiency, while the other half did not. Now, what they observed was that the people who had a vitamin B12 deficiency had more frequent and recurrent headaches compared to the other group that did not have a vitamin B12 deficiency. That same study also found out that people with the highest levels of B12 were 80% less likely to have migraines compared to their counterparts who were deficient in vitamin B12. Number six is sore mouth or tongue. Vitamin B12 directly affects oral health, so you'd realize that people who are deficient in vitamin B12 may have a swollen red or smooth tongue, a condition called glossitis. Some people may also experience burning sensations in the mouth or they even may experience ulcers in the mouth. Now, these symptoms have been attributed to less oxygen reaching the mouth because of, as I explained, less healthy red blood cells to carry them around. Number seven is gastrointestinal signs such as diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, bloating. Now granted, it's very difficult to use this as a diagnostic tool because so many other conditions can cause nausea and some of these gastrointestinal side effects. However, if you experience any of these symptoms, especially if it's combined with any of the other symptoms that I've discussed prior, that should kind of let you start thinking along those lines that, hey, let me check my B12 levels to see where they are supposed to be. So quick seven signs of a vitamin B12 deficiency. Hope you found some value in it. On your screen now is another video I did on vitamin B12. Hope you enjoyed as well. Stay blessed. Catch you on the next video.